tell us a story. Pinky's got a story she wants to share with you. Pinky Dinky do never at a loss for words. She pulls out of the blue. Pinky Dinky do her little brother Tyler and Mr. Guinea Pig. Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, sir, Rooney Positive Zip Sam Zoom. <laughs> Pinky Dinky do in the great big city with all the Dinky Doos. Pinky makes up stories with fancy words too. She's always acting silly, and you'll often hear her say, Now that's something you don't see every day. Little brother Tyler and Mr. Guinea Pig. Pinky Dinky's always thinking big. Yes, a Rooney Positoonie Zip Zam Zoom. Phew. <laughs> Pinky Dinky Do. Tyler's Silly Show. What's up, little brother? It's my shirt. I know it's your shirt, Tyler. I see it all the time. It's your favorite. Yeah, but today in the park, some kids said it was silly. Well, I don't think it's silly. And besides, you love that shirt. I don't know, Pinky. Tyler, I think your shirt is very... Oh, what's that word that means it stands out? Hey, I know that word, Pinky. It's <laughs> distinctive. Exactly, little brother. I think your shirt is very <laughs> distinctive. Are you sure? Hmm, something that stands out. That gives me an idea. Pinky, are you going to make up a story? Yes, sir. So one day, just outside Great Big City, Postman Guinea Pig was on his way to deliver a letter. There was a problem. Let's see. All of the houses looked exactly the same. None of them were <laughs> distinctive. They're all blue with acorns painted on them. Look, everybody, it's Postman Guinea Pig. My dog has been voted poor all the year. Isn't that so fluffy, puffy, boo boo? <laughs> Not so fast, Daphne. Maybe that letter is for me. Maybe it says I won a big talent contest. And here comes my big finish. Nicholas, did you even enter a big talent contest? <coughs> no, but I've been thinking about it. So, who is this letter for, Postman Guinea Pig? I don't know. It's addressed to the blue house with an acorn on it. Does that sound like any place around here? That sounds like every place.
place around here. Well, then I'll just have to return this letter to the post office. Oh, oh man. man. It's the same every day. We never get any mail. Little Tiny Town is just too much of the same thing. None of the houses are <laughs> distinctive. Somebody do something. Hmm, looks like it's time for me to think big. Oh boy, Pinky's gonna think big. Give her room, folks. If I have a problem, don't know which way to go. I think and think and think and think. And suddenly I know. Come on, Pink Think! Whee! And then it happened. Pinky had a big idea. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo Pinky Dinky Do knew just what to do. Why don't we paint our houses so they're. Watch this. So Pinky Dinky Doo Zip Sam Zoom and painted her house in her own special way. That would make it distinctive. Wow! Wow! That's so Do you see cool. that? going to stand out. Wow, very <laughs> distinctive. Great idea, Pinky. I'm going to paint my house too. Soon, everybody in Little Tiny Town had painted their houses in new distinctive colors, all except for one little house. How about you, Tyler? Aren't you going to paint your house? No, Pinky. I really, really like my house just the way it is. I don't want to change it. Hmm. Since you have the only blue house with an acorn painted on it, this letter must be for you. For me? Yep. Your house is very <laughs> distinctive. It's the only one in town like it. So this letter must be for you. Oh, Woo yeah, 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 we got it. Yeah. 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 And that's exactly what happened. Pretty much the end. Cool story, Pinky. But what was in the letter? Oh, that was a letter from me. From you, Pinky? What did it say? It said, no matter what other people say, always be yourself. Right, Pinky. It doesn't matter what other people say. I like this shirt. It makes me... <laughs> distinctive. That's a Pinky Dinky do, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheese, please. Cheese, please. Okay, let's play a game called Was This a Setting? Was this a setting? I'm going to show you different settings or places. When you see a setting that was in the made-up story, shout yes. If it wasn't a setting in the made-up story, we're going to shout no. Right, little brother. Okay, let's play. Was this a setting in my made-up story? Yes, that was a setting in your made-up story. Little Tiny Town is where all the houses look the same. Good job! How about the supermarket in Great Big City? No, Pinky. The supermarket wasn't a setting in your made-up story. That's right, little brother. Okay, how about the dock of Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho Town? Was this a setting in my made-up story? 
No, Pinky, that wasn't in your made-up story either. You sure are good at this, Tyler. Okay, one more. Was this a setting in my made-up story? Yes, that's my house. The one that Postman Guinea Pig's letter was addressed to. Yes, that's exactly where it happened. Pretty much. Let's play a game called What Was My Big Idea? What was my big idea? In my made-up story, Postman Guinea Pig had a problem. He couldn't figure out where to deliver his letter. And you came up with a great solution. Your big idea really helped. Thanks, Tyler. Do you remember what my big idea was? Shout yes when you see the right solution. And when you don't, shout no! Ready? Let's play! Was my big idea to give Mr. Guinea Pig a bath? No! That wasn't your big idea! It sure wasn't! How about this? Was my big idea to put a banana split on my head? No, Pinky! It wasn't that! You're right! That wasn't my big idea either. What about this? Was my big idea to paint the houses so they were distinctive? Yes, Pinky! That was your big idea! You painted the houses so that they were distinctive. It was a great solution to Postman Guinea Pig's problem. called What Was My Big Idea? What was my big idea? In my made-up story, Postman Guinea Pig had a problem. He couldn't figure out where to deliver his letter. And you came up with a great solution. Your big idea really helped. Thanks, Tyler. Do you remember what my big idea was? Shout yes when you see the right solution. And when you don't, shout no! Ready? Let's play! Was my big idea to give Mr. Guinea Pig a bath? No! That wasn't your big idea! It sure wasn't! How about this? Was my big idea to put a banana split on my head? No, Pinky! It wasn't that! You're right! That wasn't my big idea either. What about this? Was my big idea to paint the houses so they were distinctive? Yes, Pinky! That was your big idea! You painted the houses so that they were distinctive. It was a great solution to Postman Guinea Pig's problem. Thanks, little brother! Good job! I love making up stories, and I bet you can make up a story, too.